back if you have just joined us. Let's take a look at tonight's headlines here in the South. Police in Sussex have launched an investigation after a man's body was found in a ditch near Henfield. They're treating the death of Joseph Brazil as suspicious. And there are fears tonight the foot and mouth crisis is leading more farmers to contemplate suicide. The Samaritans say they've had an increase in calls from depressed and worried farmers. And you can find out more about those stories and others, of course, on our website, meridiantv.com. Now, many of us here in the South are familiar with life on the surface of the sea, but fewer of us have ever experienced life under the water. One way we can, though, is via the Internet. Yeah, an experiment has been set up in Bournemouth Oceanarium to monitor the growth of coral reefs and show progress live on the web. Now, the tank is guarded by sharks, but our own fearless reporter, Sean Holden, is down there among them, taking a look for our first ever live underwater broadcast. Jacques Cousteau, can you hear us? <laughs> yes, I can hear you, Fred. Say again. No, can you hear us all right? Well, we are doing. I, I think, I'll tell you what we're doing here is our first ever live underwater broadcast on Meridian, which is possible because of this face mask, this ocean reef face mask, which enables the diver to move around and talk at the same time. And what we're here to talk about is this reef, this artificial reef that's been put here. This project began with concrete mixing in Don Hendy's garage. And then the marine friendly blocks that he molded, which were designed in America to repair damaged coral reefs, were placed down here by divers. Alongside them, a camera to record the growth of the new reef. Don, who's a media lecturer at the Southampton Institute and a keen diver, had the idea as part of his own advanced media studies. It's going to be really interesting to see whether and when the colonisation starts, um, how the other fish and animals react to the reef, and we'll be able to study all of this in intricate detail using the underwater webcam. It's going to be the first time that we've been able to follow in detail and from the beginning the way a reef develops. They're not, of course, the first time that eyes like these have seen the process unfold. Well, it's very beautiful down there. Now, Sean, That's we've, so we've so talked to you. Uh, a tank inhabited by a seven-foot sand tiger shark here at the Bournemouth Oceanarium. Well, what Don Hendy, the cameraman, is looking at me now, or looking at our friend, uh, has been trying to do is to contribute towards finding out ways that we can rebuild reefs that are damaged by pollution and also global warming. Now, what about those large sharks in there with you? Well, as it's a seven-foot sand tiger shark, which rather disconcertingly says at the top of the... Uh, above me here has attacked numerous people. But they've been well fed, so I think they're minding their own business, and we're much more concerned with the little animals which we hope will be growing here on this artificial reef that Don Hendy has built at the Bournemouth Oceanarium. So, like everything else, coral reefs are under serious threat, are they? Yes, they are, Daddy, because uh, global warming and pollution is damaging them, and so the more we know about how to repair them by these kind of projects, which is, incidentally, if he gets the right sponsorship, is going to be on a web cam, which is just behind us here, and available to be seen at BournemouthBay.com, so everyone can see how we can hope to help in repairing reefs which are being damaged across the world. Short, well done. You can come out now. <laughs> <laughs> thanks very much indeed. Well, let's hope yeah, he gets well, out of here. Thanks for the memory, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was our first ever live oh. underwater broadcast. I think we can safely say we'll be doing one of them every week now. <laughs> you reckon? And guess whose turn it is next week. <laughs> <laughs> thanks very much indeed.